Thanks for staying with us on SABC News. Now, a group of property owners are alleging racism, bullying and criminality by ball and properties over the Blyde River Walk estate development. Stephen Tsehla joins me now. He's representing the short-term letting owners at the Blyde. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News this afternoon. Just give us context into what's happened and that's led to some of the unhappiness that we've seen. Thank you very much. Um, I, would, I would like to first acknowledge um, Baldwin coming to the party on the issue of access and the 250 um, access fee. However, that issue has just been a tip of the iceberg. Look, um, the issue here is that Baldwin is trying to eradicate the short letting business. So, so short, short letting business for people who are doing short letting or Airbnb at the blight. Mm -hmm. um, there's, a, there is, a, 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 there's a plan for, for Baldwin to put together a hotel or build a hotel at the blight. And they see um, the Airbnb business as being a competitor to that business. So they are trying by all means to destroy that business. Um, Firstly, what Baldwin has done, they pushed um, a, a budget of about 500,000 per month to the short, lit, short, short um, letting business. And they said that that is the budget that is supposed to be afforded by um, the Airbnb business. Uh, counter to that, the Airbnb business um, owners, they then came, came back with a counter proposal of between 100, uh, between 60 and 100,000. And um, without acknowledging that, Baldwin came back with a contract. Um, that contract was saying to the Airbnb business that they're supposed to pay an, um, a double levy on, on, on uh, um, their properties. Secondly, that if they were to challenge any issues on that contract, then they would have to pay for the fees. The, the third one was that Baldwin had, was given the power to be able to change any content of the contract or money on those contracts without um, the owners being able to challenge that. Mm -hmm. um, that then has created an issue to, to, to uh, the owners. What has also happened now is that Baldwin is now now that we are challenging this issue legally and uh, with um, uh, the actions that we've taken um, in the past week, Baldwin has now pushed um, an appointment of an agent, agency, um, AGM, AGM. In that AGM, the intention is to eradicate the Airbnb business. But when you look at the rules, the rules are now in favor of the hotel that uh, Baldwin is trying to um, uh, implement in the in, in the blind. So All right, Stephen, my apologies for cutting you there. I just want to, from, from what you sound, what you are saying, it sounds like a company that owns the property that people have bought from have decided they want to go another way. Um, it seems like it could be their prerogative. So I'm trying to understand why you are alleging that there's, ra there's racism, not attributing their actions to corporate greed or incompetence. Um, the reason why we are saying it's racism, if you were to check uh, what uh, the owners of Airbnb, I would say 90% of the owners are blacks. And the Airbnb business is mostly benefiting the community and the black community because you get, um, out of the 200, you'll have 200 cleaners towards that business. And if you look at how the hotel is being structured, the ownership of the hotel has nothing to do with us as black owners or the owners. We even asked the question in terms of us investing in the hotel and there was no response to that. Text. So you, you, you then realize that if the, you have the white monopoly capital coming through, trying to destroy the small business that the black uh, people are trying to empower themselves with and, and, and uh, pushing their own agenda. You must also notice that when you look at this business, the reason why people um, went into this business, it's, it differs from one point to another. Some went into this business for investment purposes, some were pushed by the economical pressures where some of these people were retrenched due to COVID, and now they, have, they had to downgrade their lives to be able to now 
make money to sustain this, their, their properties and sustain their families. So you are sitting with this problem of people coming through to do oppress the very same black people who have fought so hard to be where they are today. Okay, what has Bowen Properties communicated to you besides the issue of the 250 rand to access a lagoon? Um, the only issue that the Bowen has communicated is the issue of, the, of access. We still, they still refers us to the, um, the meeting of the, the 11th of October, where we, we feel that when we go to this meeting, we are being bullied. Remember, at this stage, Bowen as, as a developer, they still have um, majority voting rights. So they'll just go in there, bulldoze us, and um, legitimize whatever rules they want to legitimize without considering the impact of whatever rules uh, they are legitimizing on the, the very same people that are residing or there that have invested in the plan. All right, Stephen Settler, thanks so much for your time on SABC News and, and laying out your issues. Of course, when we were thinking about running the story, we tried to get a response from Ball and we invited them onto the program. They've said they're not doing interviews at this time, but I just want to read a little bit of their response uh, to SABC News on this issue. Um, they say the Lagoon and Lifestyle Centre at the Blight has been developed first and foremost for the recreation and enjoyment of homeowners in a law-abiding family environment. There are currently around 200 short-term rental properties at the Blight and over 900 owner-occupied or long-term rented properties. They are also saying that the Blight um, that access has been restricted due to unruly conduct that has become the norm. Recently, residents lodged the dispute with the community schemes ombud service, um, in terms of which an order was sought to prohibit short-term letting at the Blyde because they say they've been inundated with complaints over noise um, and the like. And it says, despite the best efforts of the Homeowners Association, the engagements failed to reach common middle ground and new rules pertaining to the short-term letting were put in place during July 2021. Um, Baldwin also says that ultimately homeowners will vote on whether they want to allow short-term letting or prohibit short-term letting at the Blyde. Uh, they will continue to prioritise the safety and security of all permanent residents and ensure that all residents can freely and peacefully enjoy the lagoon area in a family-inclusive environment. My colleague, Maslako Komane, is also following up on the story. We'll have more for you on that. For now, it's time for a short break. I'll have more business.